Well, if you've ever played Psychonauts before, I'm quite certain that this is probably the moment you've been waiting for since the start of this LP, where we finally get to go to the best level in the whole game, the Milkman Conspiracy. And the Tuna King. Not another tracking device! What would a game about an insane asylum be without the conspiracy nut? <clears throat> it's perfect, isn't it? Yes! Almost complete. Just a few missing pieces. Yes, now, which piece talks about the Milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the Milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. <laughs> no, you just gotta learn to see it. And there like was a fad that burned out fast. There's something in the fridge that might help you see the world like I do. Ooh, sorry, um... I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. <laughs> You've got the skates, but I've got the key. And nobody seems to care. I could stand they here. They think the windows are tinted, but they aren't tinted nearly enough. No, no. I could stand here and listen to this guy rant for hey, hours, but... Lady, where are you going with that sweater? Well, you'd probably find that a little boring. <laughs> oh. Right. Is there a slice of bread flopping its way across the kitchen trying to get to that toaster? No? Okay. Dun dun dun! And just like that, without any tutorial or education on the matter at all, we learn clairvoyance. Single most entertaining special ability of this game. <clears throat> the five richest families in the country who are merely the. See the world through someone else's eyes. The milkman's dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least, that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. No distractions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I'm always... The squirrels! Always. Uh, wow. Right. I'm just doing the dirty work off of guard the and Be careful. Can they're watching all the time. Hey. So discerned by all these now, characters who have these lopsided eyeballs. How am I going to find eyeballs. some creepy graveyard in this nice, normal neighborhood? Best level design in video game history. Can't deny it. It's immediately apparent. The genius that went into making this level. Now let's go find all the figments very carefully as we progress through this twisted city. No, twisted suburb. Um, I can use levitation again. You always hear par about people's paranoid delusions about being watched by the government. Hey, are you following me? Of course, these days it's a lot more feasible, but with everyone having cell phones, that's why I like the show Person of Interest. Hey, are you following me? Everything has a fucking camera in it. The 
even That's the flamingos. Strange. Now, finding the figments in this area is a little easy because you can take it section by section, looking through each house. This level's laid out in a fairly linear progression. Not to say that you can't get lost in a city that turns itself upside down and inside out six or seven times. Blocking my view. God, this is so awkward too, what with you having a free roaming camera the rest of the time and then you go in these houses and suddenly it's anchored to specific positions. throw that away. And unlike every other level we've been in so far, this one really gives you the impression that you're inside the mind of a crazy person. the fridge open so that if I come back later I'll know I've been here. Oh, wow. Never would have spotted that pink on pink if not for that alternate camera angle. Dangerous conditions ahead. Stop. Road crew workers only be on the yellow line. You guys are road crew workers? Yes, we work on the road, with these red signs. I see. Well, do you guys know where the milkman is? Why do you ask that question? Are you the milkman? Do I look like a milkman to you? That information is restricted to the road crew. Please, move along. <laughs> I love these guys. And just for a bit of, it is very uh, hot here, working on the road. voice actor Stop. lore... The guy who does the voice Caution, of these agents working. also did the voice of Wolverine in the original the 1990s cartoon series. Rewarding. Hey, are you following me? Everything's no following pedestrian me. traffic allowed. Got it! <laughs> Wasn't I supposed to run into one of the, uh... Girl Scouts? Yay. Is that Homer Simpson? No, but pretty close. That's seriously it. One figment. Okay. My red sign helps me work on the road. And now we use this. I'm oh! on the road crew. This is my stop sign. We even use clairvoyance to figure out how to use this stuff. Thank goodness it is Friday. No. Yes, yeah, use clairvoyance to see how everyone else sees me. Hmm. So, when I use it on him... Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Sorry, road crew only. The road is out, and but when I use the I am sign, on the road crew. this is my stop sign. It is very hot here. He sees on the road. me as a road crew worker. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Yes, we are all on the road crew. Our backs are killing us. Yes. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. I thought I should have met the Girl Scout by now. Not a through street. Uh. Just gotta make sure you follow the road so you don't get too lost.
<laughs> Illuminati pro Illuminati pamphlets. No, Illuminati books. Pamphlets aren't that big. And if they are, you're doing them wrong. Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Please stay back. There is a severe electrocution danger. Gotcha. I am fixing the telephone lines. Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? I cannot let someone near my hedges who has not been properly trained in the use of the trimmers. Can you hear me? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? I cannot let someone near my hedges who has not been properly trained in the use of the trimmers. Yum. Is there anyone on the line? These are my hedge trimmers. They help me maintain my hedge. Hedges become... Stop. This is a restricted area. Yeah, don't fuck with them. Seriously, I should have met the Girl Scout by now. Did I break something? Hello? She should have popped up, like, immediately after I left. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. <laughs> Aren't you just loving this level design? It's genius. Seriously, she should have popped up by now. Maybe she'll show up later, because I know we have to come back here. No, no. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Stop. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. You know this is where they got the idea for Mario Galaxy, right? I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. We have no use for road work here. I have no use for my stop sign. So basically, this level is a progression of finding items you need in order to go through the different areas that these guys have blocked off. Finding everything your first time through isn't too difficult, it's finding everything when you're backtracking and can't remember where the things you missed are that it gets difficult. Hello, sir. There you are. I am a rainbow squirt. Would you like to buy a box of my delicious rainbow treats? I would buy some cookies, <clears throat> but I don't have any milk. Do you have any idea where I could buy some milk for my cookies? <laughs> ah! Creepy milk! Excuse me, but I'm looking for the milkman. Stop talking to me! You're going to get me in trouble! Creepy man. He's not talking to me. Oh. More helpful stuff hidden in the trunk. I like to trim hedges. Yay. I like to trim hedges. Oh, the dialogue in this game gets a little suggestive. We're gonna have fun with that. God, you can barely see these figments against the backdrop of that blue sky. They're so transparent. Oh god, these camera changes. So awkward in a free roaming game. I, I like to trim hedges. Why don't you go do that then, somewhere else? Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? The sewers are not safe for civilians, and they smell very bad. Do you guys have anything to say? There are no documented cases of alligators found alive in sewers. 
Uh huh. I am a waste management technician. We work in the sewer. Fascinating. The sewer is very important, and we are responsible for its upkeep. Yes, it is. Thank you. Though I often smell of excrement, I deserve your respect because I provide a valuable service. Yes. Feces. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Sewers are full of rats. The sewer carries human waste. As opposed to animal waste. That was an awkward tree. It looked like someone took a bite out of it. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the milkman. Stop talking to me! You're going to get me in trouble! Okay. Nice hair, by the way. <coughs> oh, I think that's it for this house. So, using the sewer workers as a marker, I'm gonna go back and try out my hedge like trimmers. Trim hedges. To get into that house. I like to trim hedges. It is a good day for that activity you mentioned. Come work on Please the phone lines me. with us. Did you just say come work on the phone lines? I am glad you are here to help me trim these hedges. Aha! Another tag. I take pride in my well-landscaped yard. My good landscaping adds to the property value of the entire neighborhood. I wear sunscreen while cutting hedges to prevent melanomas from forming on my skin. Yeah, those are ugly. I take frequent breaks to avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. For hedge trimming? This part of the hedge is too tall. I wear sunscreen while cutting hedges to prevent melanomas from forming on my skin. Why are your hedge trimmers transparent? These are my hedge trimmers. They help me maintain my hedge. This part of the hedge is too tall. Uh-huh. I am trimming this hedge. My good landscaping adds to the property value of the entire neighborhood. Fast. I take frequent breaks to avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. Anything else you'd like to say? I take pride in my well-landscaped yard. Cutting the bush does not hurt it. <laughs> Thank you! Now, one thing we have to be careful of in this house is that A, don't cross Stop. it. This is a restricted area. Don't cross that fucking line or they will beat you to death with their rolling pins. And C, make sure you have your hedge trimmers. It's important not to use too much pressure when rolling out a pie crust. I have to have my hedges with me when I leave or I'll be immediately arrested. This is my house, and I am responsible for its upkeep. I like to trim hedges. Why don't you go do that, then, somewhere else? Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? This is my home, not Grand Central Station. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Need to make sure I have these I like when to I trim leave the hedges. house. This rolling pin is a tool I use to make pies. Right. Apple pies are very popular. Yes. When my husband drinks excessively, I may threaten him with this rolling pin, though we still love each other very much. <laughs> Cherry is a flavor of pie. Pie crusts should be rolled outward from the center. Pies are delicious. Yes. Children and adults both like to eat pies. Yummy. Pies come in many flavors. Over time, my husband will desire me less sexually, but he will always enjoy my pies. Okay! I'm glad you are here to help me trim these hedges. Speaking of pie, I still have some pumpkin pie. I like apple better, but hey, if you got pumpkin pie and whipped cream, that's nothing to slouch. It's nothing to scoff at. Nothing to slouch. Jesus Christ. Of course, plain pumpkin pie is just meh. Why the fuck would you even eat a pumpkin pie without whipped cream? You're, you're fucking insane. You're ruining this the pie. This job is unsavory, but it must be performed by someone. Got it! This hat box needs a hat box tag. I will keep an eye out for that. And although I could hop, hop over into that other backyard, I don't want to lose track of my figment collection, so I'm going to not do that. <laughs> Oh, 
Nothing here. <laughs> I'll just grab this one and come right back. Stop. This is a restricted area. Okie dokie. I am Coin sad. That. Ah, memory safe. Oh, boo hoo. I feel your pain. Gotcha. Boyd fired again. Again. How many jobs have you been fired from? Hmm. Boyd Cooper. Upstanding department store security guard. I can tell it's a department store because there's coats on sale right behind him. And he got fired from for some inexplicable reason. And clearly he's not happy about that. And who would be? I mean, it certainly looked like he was doing his job. He's right in front of the door, making sure no one can break in. So what the fuck? Apparently he was really pissed off about it, because he apparently filled a bunch of milk bottles with gasoline. And burnt the fucking place down. <laughs> Way to go. <sighs> I'm not so sure I would take things that far. I mean, you know, you lose one job, you go find another. Or start looking at least. Shit. And he apparently tried the insanity plea and it didn't uh, go so well for him. Well, that explains that.